G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden with a subscriber question for you today in another vlog and the question is about worm castings from Cole H. What do you do with your castings and how do you use them? I'm going to come back to this question because it does go a bit deeper. So let's get into it guys. Good morning, Karen. Morning. How you going? Good. What are you waiting for? You waiting for me to tie your hair back? Yeah. Hey, what do you think of compost worms now you're nearly turning 14? I'm turning 14. You'll be 14 soon. Oh, I forgot. What do you, what do you think of them? Did, did you ever like them or not? No. You sure? Yeah. You used to play with them a bit when no. you were younger. No. i got to say, I'm quite disappointed that... She doesn't like compost worms anymore. I'm pretty sure she used to, or maybe she just kept me bluffed the whole time. But anyway, look, I've got to tie up her hair because she's getting ready for high school. We're going to get more into this question for you. This is a really good one. So hang in there, guys. Only two days left of school to holidays. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, you have a lovely day at school, Dale. See ya. See you this afternoon. Love you. So I've got my question sheet here from Cole H. We're going to head outside. Got a few things that I need to do on the way out, and then we're going to answer this question. It's a really good one. I think a lot of people are going to benefit from it. So anyway, let's head outside. Sun is shining. It is absolutely stunning out here. The garden is really stunning. Oh, how's the noise on that door? That's a new screen door. It took me ages to get them to put that up for me. So, on the way out, there's some few interesting things. Now, oh, gummies. Got to get the gummies on. So I've just been watering outside, watering the garden. Now, we've got horse manure there. I just picked that up, and it's looking sort of a bit fresh. Might have some nasties in there, some chemicals and things that we don't really want to eat. And now, getting back to an older vlog, Underneath here, if we see that, that is the sort of worm castings. You can see little things sprouting up in it. Well, it's from horse manure. And if you don't heat it up and compost it, the worms don't eat the seeds and the seeds don't die from the hot compost. So that's one of the reasons why I do that. But anyway, look. Oh, look at that avo. Woo, she's really coming along. It's growing every day. Anyway, look, let's head down to this part of the garden. I just want to get some good light so you can see me properly and we can cover what we need to cover here. Now, I'm just going to actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tripod down on the hungry bin and look up there and get to this question because, as I said, I keep saying in this video, <laughs> this is really important. Cole H, what do you do with your castings? Can you scatter them on the ground? or do they need to be mixed with soil first? I am finding the castings dry out and go hard like clay if I don't mix it with soil. Any tips would be great. All right, Cole. So I'm gonna answer this in questions as we go along. What do you do with your castings? Well, firstly, I use my castings. A lot of it actually goes into the mixes that I sell and I use it when I plant trees and when I'm actually potting up plants. And I also use it when I'm doing seedlings. It's really important when you do seedlings. Now, I do have an organic seed raising course over at martysgarden.com.au where I cover all of that. So if that interests you, head it over and check that out. It's pretty cheap. It's under 30 bucks, And it's just it's really, really valuable. And it goes right into everything about the benefits of using castings while you're raising seedlings, if that interests you. All right, so the second part. Can you scatter on the ground or do they need to be mixed with soil first now i think there's a few ways that you can do this 
when you're using it sort of fresh and not long out of the worm farms, that obviously is when it's in its best state. It's got the highest micro microbe and fungal content. So if you scatter it underneath the mulch, underneath the mulch zone, or just sort of scrape it around, you don't want to sort of dig it in because you don't want to be disturbing that microbial area that's already there. Think about when a worm comes up, it sits underneath that leaf layer in the humus zone, that's why I talk a lot about humus, and drops its casting there with the biology in the casting, stays nice and moist, and it will eventually become a part of that soil profile. And as your leaf mold is breaking down, that compost on the top, sort of that sitting on top underneath the mulch, it'll become a part of it all and start feeding that whole microbial balance. So that is one way that you can do it. So another thing you can do is when you're mixing it into your mixes, use around about 10%. They've done lots of tests in this. You don't need to go over 10%. If you do, your all you're doing is really creating a casting that would provide, how do you put this, uh, like a water soluble sort of bit. So the compost is doing that already. Once the biology comes out of the worm castings and moves all through, really 10% is what they're using and a lot of high end guys are using it with other sort of fungal things and stuff. But there's already some fungal domination in your worm castings if you're doing it properly already. So the wind's starting to come up now. So we gotta get into this vlog, cause I'm outside and I don't wanna wreck the audio on this camera. All right, I'm finding the castings dry out and go hard like clay if I don't mix it with soil. So like I said, 10% mix through a compost. If you're using a potting mix, same thing, 10% mix it through and you'll find that they'll work quite well. Other than that, you can put it in a container and you know make sure there's airflow in the container, a bit of wet newspaper or a bit of wet cloth to sort of create like a wicking system to stop them from drying out. You really want them not soggy, not too wet, just slightly damp, because around the outside of the coating of a worm casting, there's a little membrane, and that holds all the biology, and it actually shrinks and expands, shrinks and expands, and eventually it will dry out and it'll sort of go. But I think even when it's fully dry, there's still some microbes in there, but look, I'm not a soil scientist, so I can't give you, let you know that that's exactly what happens. But from my trials, I believe so. Right, so it goes hard like clay. So I think I've solved that problem for you. And at the end it says any tips would be great. So I'm hoping, Cole, that that was useful for you. Any guys out there that are watching these vlogs now and you want to share to the content to help answer Cole's question down below, please do so. Love to hear from you. It's all about getting into this together as a community and creating these awesome vlogs. Now, I'm outside. And we might hear a bit of sort of like neighbors and stuff like that going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort of cruise around the garden here. And I'll give you a little bit of a look at something here. This is pretty cool. These are my compost bags. Now, these are full of castings and I don't really know how many castings are in each because look, I'm picking worms out as I'm making them. And if you live locally, a lot of people really love these and they, they order and sells out pretty quick. So that's something that I do here on my micro farm as well as selling the compost worms. I mostly sell uh, compost and I find that that's probably more profitable for me than selling compost worms. I'll just give you another look at the avo tree here. Look how well that avo tree is going. If you're liking watching the avo tree, and, learn, and seeing its updates, please let me know in the comments box down below. And if you're enjoying sort of seeing around my garden as well, things like this, like the Brazilian cherry, and learning about these sort of amazing plants like lemon myrtle, Australian bush food, that guy, he's just starting to come back now. It's a tropical tree growing in the subtropic. I'm just pulling it off. Anyway, look, I'm Marty Ware from Marty's Garden. And if you're loving the vlogs, please give me a big, massive, Oh, I just dropped my list on the ground. Oh, <laughs> give me a big massive thumbs up and let me know in the comments box down below. I really feel that I'm getting a lot of value across to you guys by creating these vlogs and at the same time, I'm enjoying making them. So I'd love to hear from you, what you think about them so far. More cool stuff coming up. And flies are starting to come out too now that it's warming up. But anyway, that's a part of it all. Have a great day. Happy gardening. And we'll see you at the next vlog real soon. Here comes a flexi hand. Oh.
don't don't forget there's going to be a card up here with another video subscribe button down here if you're not subscribed already make sure you subscribe so i answer your question for you have a great day happy gardening see you at the next vlog real soon aussie style bye for now